This Let's Play was supported by these awesome hobby companies. Hello everybody and welcome to Let's Play Mythic Battles Ragnarok. I'm joined by Jerry in the studio. Hello. Uh, I've been waiting for this one. Right. Have you played much of this before, Jerry? I have not, no. Okay, so, uh, you understand the concept that in this game we're beginning with a draft where we're going to be each taking turns to pick stuff. Yes. Uh, and then, basically on the table, our goal is either to absorb four of the stones, we have seven on the board, mm -hmm. uh, or to kill the opposing god. Fair enough. Now, the, going for the stone victory is a little bit easier because the gods in this game are, well, godly and they are pretty tough. Mm -hmm. So, uh, everybody knows the game's on Kickstarter at the minute. Uh, well, hopefully at the minute. Hopefully I got this Let's Play out on time. <laughs> uh, but it, it looks like it's fantastic. It's busting through a ton of stretch goals. I'm, I'm going to be honest, I'm in on it myself. So if, if I can convince more people to be jumping in so we get more lovely toys, I'm happy with this. And this is, um, is this the core set then? Yeah, so what we've got here on the table is the core set. So we've got four gods, four monsters, five troops, and five heroes, if I'm counting and doing numbers right. Okie dokie. So, uh, to begin with, hmm. we're each going to roll a dice. Right. And basically, we're going to see who's going first. So highest number first. Five. 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 We re-roll. Uh, I get a one. Oops. Uh, Jerry also, also gets get a, a one. one. Good dice. Shocking. For a five. Okay, so I will get to pick my god first. Okay. Jerry, on the other hand, you will get to pick the unit, hero, or monster you want first. Okay. Now, one of the biggest changes from the original game, the Pantheon, the Greek version, is, you see for our troops? Yes. So they cost one point, but for an additional point, as you recruit them, you can grab a Jarl, which gives them an additional special rule. Okay. It can really change up just how they play, but for gods, I'm not a subtle, subtle creature. So mm -hmm. I'm going to go straight for Thor. Okay, so okay. whenever you pick them, you will take their card and their miniature. We'll sort out our decks off camera. Okay. Who would you like? So we have... Um, we have Fre Hel, Loki, and uh, Freya. Freya, okay. So I'm going to go ahead and take Freya. Uh, so each god has their own abilities and traits, which sort of change how they play. Mm -hmm. And they have their own individual stat line. What are the key things for the stat line? Uh, if I bring it under camera here. So the way this works is, you've got your god's name here, how much they cost. We have 18 points for a skirmish. Mm -hmm. uh, there's how many activation cards they have. That's their talent. So Thor has Force of Nature, Mighty Throw, and Monster Slayer. And he's going to bring an Art of War card, which is important for like cycling through your deck. Okay. You've then got the stat line. As he takes damage, this will begin to slowly work its way down until zero and death. Mm -hmm. So with them, we have the stat line, which is attack, defense, range, movement, and magic and health. So for the magic, generally these will correspond to whatever powers you have. You have four different types of those, okay. uh, which are, I'm going to be clever and actually read from the handy dandy cheat sheet that you get with it. So you've got permanent, passive, active, and offensive. Okay. So it's all pretty self-explanatory. We'll dive into those as we play. Right, so because I chose my god first, you now get to pick a unit first. Okie dokie. And I can pick from any at all, so I can take a hero so you or a unit. a trip, a monster or a hero, whoever you like. Uh, I'm going to go for Faf. Oh, Fafnir. Yeah, everybody loves worms. Okay. Uh, Fafnir is pretty damn good. Uh, he has both claws and fangs. Mm -hmm. And a ranged attack. Yeah, although he is quite expensive at five points. Yeah, well, you know. Mm. Uh, so your, your, your god is going to cost you six regardless. Mm. So we're basically both on 12 points for whatever we're wanting to run here. I think because it's going to be fun, I always like Beowulf. He just works really well. Okay. So grab me a Beowulf and his mini. Okay. Back to yourself, Jerry. Back to me then, so you don't double dip. Uh, no. Um... At least I don't think you do. If I've got that wrong, I apologize. I'm going to take some berserkers. Ah, all right. So bear wearers, the oof. Mm -hmm. So I'm currently on 10. It might be worth taking a cheaper hero. In fact, when I take him, mm -hmm. I'm also going to 
see what's interesting to upgrade with the Jarl. Ah, okay. So the Jarl costs an additional point, so instead of a one point unit, it's a two point unit. But having that special ability can really turn the tide sometimes. So while you're doing that, hmm. I think I want a beastie, but I don't want an expensive beastie, or I want another hero. So I think I'm maybe going to grab Sigurd, because mm -hmm. he's a, a three-point hero, but he will bring an additional Art of War card, which is going to give me a little bit more DAC control. Mm -hmm. So back to yourself. Um, I'm going to take Shield Maidens, Shield Maidens mm -hmm. for another point. Uh-huh. And I think I'll also uh, see if there's a Jarl I can steal. All right, mm. I think I'll maybe grab the the Yom's Vikings next. And I, I will pop a Jarl onto them. Okay. So Jarl cards, please. The Jarls. Back to yourself. So I've spent 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I have three points left. And I have no heroes yet. Uh, and there's only one hero I can take. I think you don't have to have heroes, you could fill up on something else, could you? Or are there limits? No, there's no limits on the unit types you take, it's just that, that points limit. So, as it stands, I spent 14, about to go to 15. So I, I could go for uh, a Jotun, yeah, have myself a giant instead of a hero, but I won't. I'm going to take Lagatha. Mm -hmm. So... I'm currently on 15 of my 18 total. I'm on 18. You're on, on 18. Button. Okay. Um, so I've got three points left. And most stuff is more than that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the Jotun, because mm -hmm. he's only two points. And then along with him, I'll maybe grab a unit of Berserkers. So I think that will make for an interesting layup. Now, I can't get a Jarl for them because I don't have the point for it. Okay, Shame. so we will get ourselves set up mm. and ready for round one. Okay, into round one. So we've got our decks built. Mm -hmm. uh, so we've got all of our unit cards in the deck, any Art of War cards in the deck. And for your starting hand, you start with an additional three Art of War cards mm -hmm. and then draw three off your deck. Okay. So I've already done this, so... Just turn my stuff the right way up, because otherwise it annoys me. Okay, so we're now going to take it in turns to basically deploy our troops. Okay. Our heroes and monsters stay off board, they have to be deployed by an action, but your troops come in to start. So because I won the roll-off, I believe I go first. Mm -hmm. So you see the two red dots here, these are my deployments. Mm -hmm. Two blue ones are yours. So I will deploy my Yums Vikings over here to start. Jerry? Okay. I am going to take my Ulf Hednar, mm -hmm. my bear warriors. Uh, wolf warriors, no? Because I have the berserkers, they're the bear warriors. Could be. Well. Speaking of? Hairy fellas. Yeah. Uh, I think we may as well have the Ulf and Dark face off against the berserkers for a giggle. So they're there. Mm -hmm. Other trip? Uh, shield Maidens. Uh huh. And I'm going to go Shield Maidens on this side mm -hmm. to counter your Yom's Vikings. Mm -hmm. Okay, so start of the round, mm -hmm. you're going to draw a card. Okay. And then decide what you're going to do. So, my Yom's. Yeah. So I'll activate my Yom's for one activation card. And from where they are, they've yep. got a speed of one, but I can run them for two, which is what I'm going to do. So they're going to go one and two up to here. Mm -hmm. And, oh, I should mention we are playing on Mimir as well. Okay. So that's just one of the four initial maps that come in the core set. So they've moved up to there. I now have the option to play another unit. Now, it would cost an Art of War card mm -hmm. to do so. And I don't think we're at a point wherever I'm, when I'm trying to rush my activations. But you can use the Art of War cards for something else. So you can either use them to draw two off the pile, mm -hmm. draw a specific from the, pile, the deck, and then reshuffle. 
or there is another one for like dodging flying attacks, but there's no flying in this, so we won't cover that. All right, okay. Right, now, there's one other thing. If it's your turn, after you've drawn your card, and if you decide not to activate, you get to draw an additional card. Okay. All right, so it's on to you, Gary. What would you like to do? Uh, start by drawing that and see what I've got. Mm -hmm. Fascinating. Oh. <laughs> see, he's playing the mind games already. So... I'm going to play Lagatha. Okay. Queen of the Vikings. Mm -hmm. And that just deployed her into that area. Mm -hmm. Now, each unit you activate gets either two basic actions or a complex action. Deploying is a complex action, so there's nothing else you can do on your turn. Mm -hmm. However, mm -hmm. Lagatha is a leader. Yes. And so on our handy dandy cheat sheet, leaders. At the end of their activation phase, a unit with the leader talent can choose an allied troop in their area to activate without spending an art of war card. Now, specifically, it's in their surroundings. Yep. So, surroundings is not area. Right. Surroundings is in your line of sight. So, oh. you don't have to actually move up into the same oh. area to use the ability. Better again, then. It, it makes it more, it makes more sense because they'd be shouting out, oh, you, get on, get a move on. So, Instead of discarding the unit activation card from their hand, the owner can take it from the deck, show it and play it and discard it and reshuffle their deck instead. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to do that. Ooh. I tell the shield maidens to uh, step up. Ah, uh, okay. Go. Now, uh, a couple of important points on the board. Yep, I see it. Uh, so you see anything with this red border? Mm -hmm. That is counted as a wall. That is completely impassable terrain. We cannot go into there at all. So... Shield Maidens will now activate, and I will activate them for a jog. Yep. And they'll go, one would be their normal move, but because I'm running, they can go to there? Yes, they can. They're just running up the flank of the board. Yep. Okay. So that's my first... And second. And second activation. Mm-hmm. Uh, you do have a, a cap limit of two. I'm assuming there may be special rules on like a Titan or a God in the future that maybe gives you extra. Mm -hmm. But again, then you're just burning through more of those Art of War cards. So I will draw. Hmm. I think I'm going to use an Art of War card mm -hmm. to draw two. So I'm, I'm going a little bit blind, but I think it'll just be a little bit better. And I'm going to activate my Jotun, so my Ice Giant. Mm -hmm is going to come into the fray and he's going to deploy to here. Now you'll notice all of the spaces are not symmetrically shaped so yeah. you do kind of have to keep an eye on that while you're playing. The first game I played off camera with Shay just to rebed the rules in, I actually missed one because it was like kind of like faded and hidden so I was actually double moving and I felt bad afterwards. Uh, not that so, bad though. Is that bad. you? Um, Honestly, yeah, that'll yep. do. I don't, I don't want to rush things too quickly. Okay. Not one of those. Fascinating. So, I'm going to activate mm -hmm. my Ulf. Oh, the Ulfie Wolfies. And they shall also go for a run. Mm-hmm. So go one, and then two, run mm -hmm. them into there. Now that's... That is actually a special, special terrain area. piece. So, uh, on the back of your card, there is a list of all the terrain types. Mm -hmm. That particular one is a divine source. So, movement allowed. A unit entering this area must stop its movement and then roll a die, mm -hmm. applying the result. So Okay. Survey says blank. Blank is... The unit can you move get to move an extra space area. if you so desire. Ooh, that's tempting. Mm -hmm. That means you could get up into my face a little quicker. Yeah. I will push them to there then. Okay. Now, the run is a complex, so I can't do anything else mm -hmm. clever with it. Yes. Um, but that's all right. Mm -hmm. So that's my first. Mm -hmm. Oh, you going again? Yeah. Let's. So an Art of War card, mm -hmm. and my Shield Maidens. Yep. And we're going to move to there and claim. Mm -hmm. So claiming is a simple action, mm -hmm. but it basically means that if my god walked into the area, he couldn't just absorb 
uh, the, the divine stone. And I put it there so I'm not trailing it around. Mm -hmm. That's me. Okay. Uh, honestly, I've seen some of your shenanigans. It's time to call in Big Daddy. Thor's mm -hmm. gonna deploy. And I think I'm gonna have him deploy over here with my berserkers. Because I don't like the look of those Ulfendar coming in. Uh, what Jarl did you pick for them? Uh, Angram. Mm -hmm. So yes. the troop ignores the first wound inflicted by an attacker. Okay, that's going to be important. Now, do I want to do anything else? Mm. Yes, I'm going to spend an Art of War card. And I'm going to activate my Jotun. Mm -hmm. So from where he is here, he's got a move of two. Mm -hmm. So he's going to go one and two. Mm -hmm. And as he lands in the Divine Source, uh, I have to roll a die. Yep. For a two. Search through your deck and take one card of your choice to add to your hand, then shuffle your deck. Ooh. Spicy, spicy. I want that. And I don't have to show you? Nope. Now, I had thought of going for like a little bit of an attack run on the, the lovely shield beans, but I knew going into the divine source, at worst, I would get the extra point of movement to get at them. Hmm. And just double check his move stat is two. It is indeed two. Cool. Uh, so that was my second. Mm -hmm. So back to yourself. I'll spend an Art of War card to draw two. Mm -hmm. Fascinating. I think, for sheer amusement value, because mm -hmm. you're only young once, mm -hmm. I'm activate the Ulf. Okay, uh, before you do that, mm -hmm. I think I want to spend an Art of War card to draw two. Okay. So the maneuver is the, the draw two or search for one. You can do it at any point during the round and the turn. So I'm going to draw two. Because mm -hmm. I think I want to have a little bit more. Yeah, that'll work. Most definitely, that'll work. All right, so your Ulfendar are activating. Yep. And I'm going to pick up, claim that. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to move back into this one. And you'll have to roll again. Yep. For a five. Five. Choose an effect. Mm -hmm. Anything spicy? Uh, I think I'm going to go for look at the first three cards of my deck and then arrange them in any order of my choice. Ooh, that's a handy one. Hmm. Mm. He's happy. It makes me nervous. There we go. So I that's good. Smiling behind the mask. And then... I'm going to summon Fafnir. Need to pay an Art of War for him as well. Mm -hmm. And drop him in there. Eek. Big monster has landed. Mm. Okay, so I get to draw a card. Hmm. <laughs> okay, so Thor is going to activate and he is going to begin his advance. So he will go one to here and two to here because he's got a move of two mm -hmm. and he will claim the stone at his feet just so that he, he has it and you can't just nip it and steal it. I will then... Hmm, So, does he have range? He does not have range. Hmm. I think I'm going to pay an Art of War card and bring in a Beowulf. So I'll have Beowulf deploy over at this side of the board. And that'll do me for the round. 
Okay. Mm-hmm. Fascinating. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. I'm going to deploy Freya. Yeah. The she lady has arrived. She will go there. Mm-hmm. And then... I'm going to activate Lagatha. Ah, uh, okay. Who is going to uh, run? Let me see. One, two, we go to there. Now, with her ability as a leader, she wouldn't be able to activate them again because that would be a third activation, isn't that right? I would assume so. I think that's something that will probably end up in an FAQ. Okay. So, she will go one, two to there. And roll. And roll. Our survey says four. four. I can look at the first two cards of your opponent's deck and then arrange them in the order of my choice. There you go, sir. Well, that's a big area. It's a very big area. Mm-hmm. Gonna see just how badly done over I am now. Yeah, you know, I can't imagine it's gonna be that bad. Uh, my turn? Yes. So the first of Jerry's picks. Uh-huh. Uh, I'm gonna activate Big Daddy Thor. Mm-hmm. Who is going to just go for the complex action of absorbing a stone. Ooh. Now, as soon as you absorb a stone, you get a Divine Stone card to your hand. Mm-hmm. Uh, which basically acts as an additional Art of War card. And I think... What could be entertaining? Yeah, so I will play that instantly to activate my Yom's Vikings. Mm -hmm. And from where they are, they're going to move... one to here, Mm -hmm. and they will claim a stone just to make life a little more difficult and possibly start harassing Lagatha in the near future. I'll do me. Okay. Freya uh-huh. is going to activate and walk to there. Mm-hmm. Gods too get to be divine. Divine source says anything right. I want. Yeah. So what is the full rundown on this just for everyone at home? So on a blank, you can move an extra area. On a one, you draw two cards, mm-hmm. which I assume you're doing. I'm doing. Uh, on a two, you can search through your deck and take a card, mm-hmm. uh, then add it to your hand and shuffle your deck. Then you've got the look at the first three, look at the first two, uh, yourself and then your opponent. And then the last one is just choose anything you like. Mm-hmm. Okay. And while I'm there, she's going to claim that mm-hmm. as another simple action. Mm-hmm. And that's me. Okay, uh, so I will draw. Okay, so I'm going to play an Art of War card mm-hmm. to draw two. Uh, I'm going to activate Thor. And what Thor's going to do, do your Ulfendar have block? Do they? No. No. Right. So I think what's going to happen, Thor's going to walk into their area. Mm -hmm. And he will have to roll. Just to see what he gets, because it's divine. So for a one... Draw two. Draw two. I can most definitely work with that. Okay, so Thor is then just going to go for a regular attack on your Ulfendar. Mm -hmm. Because he knows they're carrying one of the the divine stones, and he needs those. Okay, okay. I will retaliate. You will retaliate? Yep. Okay. So, that means after my attack, Jerry gets the attack back. Mm-hmm. Uh, unless they have initiative? No, I don't have initiative. Right. What are the two they have? Uh, they have Berserk and Torment. Okay, so Torment's going to knock my defense down by one on your retaliation. But yep. I get to swing first. Mm-hmm. So, 
Eight dice. Defense? Six. Six. Okay, so the mechanic is the same as the previous game, where you're trying to get to five to re-roll, or you can build them. So I've got Mighty Throw on Thor as well, so this allows to work to let me throw them if I want. Mm -hmm. And then, so what I can do is, those will become fives, but I could be coming plus ones. So three fives now. Those will build to a six, so you're going to take two wounds, mm -hmm. and then I'll roll the last. Oh, helps if I roll it in the thing. For a blank, which is nothing. So you'll take two wounds. Okay. But your Jarl, I believe, blocks the first. Yeah, Jarl will block the first. So, so I'll take a one single wound. Yep. And then what I get to do, because it's funsies, mm -hmm. is from where they are, I get to throw them into another space. So okay. I'm going to throw them into here. I'll just move Thor so he's nicely in the zone. Do I still get my retaliation? You do. Okay. Well, actually, would you? Because you're now out of range. I, I don't know. But I think the... Okay, so this is where these come in handy. So Not your so attack much. sequence is... Uh, you got your first and second assault, which we've done. And then if the defender is the target of a range zero attack, they can retaliate by discarding one of their activation cards. Uh, wins for each die whose result is equal to or exceeds the defense. It doesn't really say, no. but... It, it doesn't. Does it say in the main rule book? Is uh, the quick reference again, too this, quick? This is, again, something that I think would possibly come in an FAQ. I'm not sure if it's in there. Right. So what it doesn't say there mm -hmm. in your attack sequence is it's target's choice, then the attack resolution, then retaliation. So I wouldn't be able to retaliate until you're finished resolving. So, so you I, would have to declare after the resolution? <laughs> so I wouldn't have spent that card because by the time that resolves, I'm no you're longer in range. the space. Yep. Yeah. That makes perfect sense. Yeah. Okay, so that was Thor. Was that my first activation for the round? I believe it was. That was your first, yeah. All right. So. Yeah, I'll spend an Art of War, activate the Jotun. Mm -hmm. And Mr. Jotun, with his wonderful speed of two. Mm hmm. Your shield beans are also carrying a stone, so he's going to wander into them mm -hmm. and take a blot at them. So he gets an attack of six. Yep. What's your defense? Um, my defense is five. Mm -hmm. However, I have initiative. Mm -hmm. So if the unit with initiative is targeted, they can carry out the retaliation before resolution. Mm -hmm. Do you have initiative? I do not. So I can actually get my initiative, my retaliation in first. Yep, and that gives you a plus two, I believe, because of your yard. Oh, no, ignore me. I've, I've shield maiden this in my hand at the moment. Uh, but yeah, it would have. But you see, because of the way the maneuvers work, yep. you could pay the Art of War card to find it now and play it. No, that's fine. Okay, defense on the shield maidens. Defense shield maidens is five. Fives. Okay, so let's see what we get. Oh me, oh my. So there is, so that counts for nothing, but that's going to be four wounds. Yep. I think that I just murder the entire squad. Yep. Right, they will drop, drop the Divine Stone in the, the area that they're in, which is right here. Yep. And so you can call them back. So troops can be recalled during the very end step of your activation. Okay. For the cost of an Art of War card, and they redeploy into your deployment zone. Do they bring the Jarls back with them, or are they gone when the they... The Jarls are there until a card effect removes them. There's one of the Jarls where he can actually say, I'm going to sacrifice myself so that this unit doesn't die right now, okay. but then he's gone from the game. Sure. Other than that, the Jarls stay in play. What you can't recall is monsters, gods, or heroes. Once they're dead, they're dead, they're out. Okay, Duke. That was worthwhile. Yeah. So, yourself. <laughs> Hmm. I think Fafnir is going to get involved in this game. Uh oh. Oh yeah, I'm kind of close to Fafnir, aren't I? Yeah. He's going to go there and attack. Thor. Yep. Okay. 
Uh, Thor's defense is it. Nice. My attack is it. Oh me, oh my. Oops, a daisy. That is going to sting. Dun, 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 Anything dun. wizier special? Yep, he has terror. Uh-huh. Uh, I believe that affects my attack against him. Yep. Oh, it's only range zero's attacks. So it's and we're not in the same unit or in the same thing, so you're not yeah. retaliating. But so torment is specifically for defense, terror is for my attacks. That if I'm attacking back. Okay. Do I want to we'll see. That's not a bad start. Mm -hmm. So a four to roll up. Yep. Anything you can build into a five? Three, four, five. Mm -hmm. So now, you could use those three to build one of your fives into an eight already to automatically do a wound and not have to roll. No, you're okay. Okay, he's gambling. That'll be two wounds because you've got the two threes which become eights. Yep. And that becomes... Seven, eight. Oh damn, so it's three actually. Yep. Okay, so I go from nine to six. Okay. Youch. Dunsky? That's me, yep. Okay, I'll draw. Mm. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna activate Mr. Beowulf with his speed of one. He's not really gonna be doing much, but he's just going to walk himself forward mm -hmm. and then use his own leader ability, which will allow me to activate someone who is in my line of sight. So I'm actually going to use that to activate my Berserkers, who are also a speed of one. However, they have a range of one. So they're going to advance mm -hmm. and take a swing at your uh, Ulfendar. So if the unit contains at least two Berserkers, I gain plus one on my attack, so it's going to be four dice. Okay. Defense? Defense is five. Five. Okay, let's see if we can... Murder some of these. Well, there's one, and those will only go up to a four, so nothing. So just one guy, uh, and I ignore the first wound exactly. So zip, mm. not a nothing. Okay, yours. Not doing a second, though. No. I did take a second, so oh, of course, I Beowulf moved Beowulf, up. Yeah. and then with his leader ability, I was able to activate the berserkers without spending the art of war card. Okay. That's a really nice ability. I will. Hmm. Activate Freya. Okay. He's going to go one, two to there. Mm -hmm. And then I am going to let me see. I can Recall my shield maidens at the end of my activation? Yes, yeah, so it's at the end of your activation, you will pay the uh, the Art of War card to call them back. Mm -hmm. However, you don't have to spend their activation card. Oh, oh, that's okay then. As far as I know. Let me double check. Uh, so end of turn phase, the active player decides whether or not to discard one AOE, a Art of War card to recall a unit of troops. Yeah, so it's just the Art of War card you would spend. So they'll just go to there then. Okay, so they're on the table. Mm -hmm. All right, on to me? Yep. Okay, draw. Okay, radio. Um, hmm. What do I have? What do I want? Going to play an Art of War card? Yep. Which is going to let me draw two. Perfection. So, uh, Beowulf. Mm -hmm. Is going to activate. Mm -hmm. And so his range is zero, so he has to walk in to your Ulfendar and he's going to swing for the fences. Okay. So attack stat of seven, four, three. And let's see how we go. Okay, Defense of five. 
So, your defensive five or? Yep. Okay, any abilities on him that would affect you? Bolster, leader, and monster slayer, no. So, I just need to get to fives. So there and there. And then there. So that'll be three wounds. Okay, ignore one. So two. Mm -hmm. Two guys die. I may as well, you know, may as well retaliate, I suppose. Mm -hmm. Since somebody's about to go away anyway. Yep. Why not? Or that was your first activation? Yes. Doesn't make a difference. Actually, it does, I think. It does make a difference. I won't bother retaliating. Okay. Uh, I'm going to use my leader ability. Yep. Uh, use it on my berserkers. Mm -hmm. uh, for their first action, they will attack mm -hmm. with four dice. Uh, would just be the one. Yeah. So I'll use the berserker ability, which lets me attack again. Uh -huh. Better. So there's two. Two wounds. Uh, two wounds. However, I will lose one of my guys for well. berserking. It's all right. Thank you. Perfect. And then that's end of my turn. Also, uh, their stone drops in the space they were in. Oh yes. So this is fine. Shield maidens. Mm -hmm. we'll go for a run. Yep. Roll for the divine source. Yep. For five. Five. I think I will draw two. Mm hmm. Mm, I could draw two. I could search. Decisions, decisions. Mm -hmm. Depends who's important. Uh, everybody's important in my team. <laughs> We're like that. I'll draw two. Okay. Oh, interesting. Mm hmm. Activate Lagatha. Okay. Now, is that your second activation? Yep. Yep, with your Art of War card. Mm -hmm. What's she going to do? Going to go for a run. Uh huh. The bump. Uh huh. To there. Okay. Back to me. Mm -hmm. yep. Okay. Uh, I think I'm going to activate my Yom's Vikings, who are basically going to boogie out to here and roll for the Divine Source. For a one, which is draw two. Draw two, yep. I am absolutely fine with this. And I will end my turn at that. Okay. I will. Well, actually, I won't. I'll do that instead. Okay. Fafnir. Mm -hmm. attack right into the back of you uh just hitting thor again mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. doesn't have god slayer or anything like that unfortunately not no Oop, so daisy what's your defense currently uh on thor it's currently eight okay so he's he's still pretty buff pretty tough so three fives i've got okay Uh, for two damage. Two damage. Ouch. So, one and two. That is making some stat effect changes. I'm now down to seven, seven. And then... No, actually no. I'll do me. Okay, so back to me. I now have to reach off on my deck. Mm -hmm. To draw my one. And at this point, if I had no cards in hand, I would draw up to three. Ooh. So, one card. Mm -hmm. All right. 
think I'm going to start the bidding. I'm going to activate Thor. And he is going to go for the long action of Absorb. Mm -hmm. So he gets a second stone. I get one of these. And anything else I want to do, really? Not particularly. All yours, Jerry. Okay. I will activate Freya mm -hmm. to absorb. I absorb that one, the one she hasn't claimed. Yes, you can. Then I will do that. Mm -hmm. And so you will get one of the Divine Stone cards. That's nice. Yeah, just acts as an Art of War card. And it's always good to put the stone on your character board so you can keep count. Mm. And then... Oh, and after Thor's activation, he will heal one. I'm actually going to burn that Art of War card to draw two. So I draw one and then reshuffle the deck. Mm -hmm. Oh no! Oopsie. Um, well, while Jerry's doing that, I'm actually going to burn the Art of War card to go searching for a specific card in my deck. Because mm -hmm. I, I have a plan. Plan as cunning as a fox. Oh, as cunning as uh, a fox indeed, who was the professor of Cunningham at, of cunning at Cunningham University. Is the, the saying, I believe. Something like that, certainly. So, I'm, I'm paraphrasing, it's fine. That's nice. Okay. Okay, I have what I want. This is fine. You're good. Okay, so I get my draw. I'm going to activate Mr. Thor again. Mm-hmm. And Mr. Thor is going for a run. Now, unfortunately, you've hurt him enough that his speed is down to one, so he's only going to move two. So he'll go one to here. Mm -hmm. Nice big area. Mm -hmm. And he'll go for the second to here. Get himself a little bit out of the road. Okay. And after that, that will end my turn. Hmm. Fascinating. Mm -hmm. Decisions, decisions. Does Beowulf have... Um... So Beowulf has Bolster, uh, Leader, and Monster Slayer. But not, not Block. So, no. Uh, Bolster is the other allied troops in his area gain plus one offense and defense, mm -hmm. which is pretty handy. So you can't, for example, stop Lagatha going in there and claiming... She no. Want block. Nope. She can just go in and grab it if she wants. She'll do that. And then she'll use her leader ability mm -hmm. to activate the shield maidens. Mm -hmm. I'll do that by going and find their card. Oh, you're having to pay an art work card to go hunting? No, no. Her ability is you can just take it from the deck. Oh, yeah. So, Leader is handy. There you go. And pay that. Mm -hmm. Then we get to see whether or not I can shuffle without chucking them all around myself again. <laughs> it does do happen sometimes. Sticky plastics. Actually, they're not too bad. Card sleeves. So the Shield Maidens, they will go on a run. Mm hmm. One, two to there. Okay. And that will be me. Okay, so I will get my draw. Uh, so I am going to activate my Beowulf. Mm -hmm. And what he's going to do is he's going to take a swing 
How's Lagatha looking? She's pretty tough, isn't she? She's all right. Uh, yeah. Defense seven. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah, Bale's just going to activate and take a swing for those uh, shield maidens. Does Lagatha give any bonuses to the maidens? Yeah. Has he got range one? Because that's not the same zoom. Oh, I know, but I can, I can move. Okay. So I'll move into the shield maidens and take a swing at them. Okay. For his mighty seven dice. Defense? Defense is five. So there's three and four unit wipe. Mm-hmm. Yay. Uh, he will then use his leader ability to go hunting for a unit. Well, actually, yeah. Gonna go hunting for a unit card. Which is that. Shuffle this. Try and do it without chucking it around myself. So what I was picking was mm -hmm. the Yom's Vikings to Good. activate them. And from where they are, they are gonna move into the area with Thor. Mm -hmm. Which should be okay. Uh, turn. Okie dokie. Find that to draw two. Mm -hmm. It's probably the game winner right there. Now I look at it. <laughs> what is it? Oh, it's, you know, don't worry about that. Um, Nervousness. I'm going to go Fafnir. Okay. Into the pool. Yep. Pool will give. For a four. Uh, look at the top two cards of your deck. There you go, sir. Thank you. Okay. Is Mr. Fafnir going to hit anyone? Uh, well, that was only his first move. He's got two. Mm -hmm. I have to roll whenever I go into the pool. Mm -hmm. So if I go in there, uh huh, and then I can attack Thor. Yes, you can. Uh, defense is back up to eight. Back up to eight. Outrageous. But I think you have the ability that brings the torment. No, no. The torment. No, it's terror. I have it. Ah. It's for people attacking me. Okay. Oof, mama. So three potentials. Four, five, re-roll. Four potentials. Five. I have five health left. So. You might win the game right here. Threes. One. one two wounds. Two. Three wounds. Three wounds. Ow. So one, two, three, I am on. Two health. And my movement is zero. Your movement is zero. Well, that all seems terrible, doesn't Ouch. it? That all seems very, very bad indeed. Mm -hmm. um, I will activate Freya. Okay. What is the lovely lady going to do? So Freya is, for novelty value, going to spend her ability to teleport to any point on the board. Yeah. Teleport into Thor Ooh. and attempt to stab him in the face. Okay, in defense of seven now. Hot god on god action. Yeah, I have no retaliation. I have nothing on my abilities that's going to help me here, so... Eight attacks. Yep. Your defense is currently... Seven. Yikes. So, that's one five. Two, two fives, fives. Three fives. Three fives and out. Two, two plus ones Or two for plus later. ones for, yeah. So, three roll-ups. So, ten... Seven and seven makes it eight and eight. So three. Game. And just for the theatrics, Thor is fallen. Mm. Interesting. Fascinating. I didn't expect you to go for the god kill. No, no, because normally I don't. Normally I play the scenario and let you try and kill me. Yeah, and I tried to play the scenario this time and I still lost. It's, it's yeah, it's I mean, definitely a way to go. I mean, I did have a plan with that. I mean, like I was retreating Thor to get him close to these guys. I was going to have him grab that and with his movement of two, start running it back to him to yeah. go for the win. But you, you murdered me down. Very good. And I couldn't get the activations on Thor to get his healing going. Yeah. 
really getting cycling through this is interesting because you either want to cycle through it so quickly mm -hmm. or you want to hang on to them. And there was big periods there where I'm sitting on two cards and no Art of War cards. And I was like, mm, I can really, I can just do the bare minimum yeah. here. Well, I suppose like, what I could have been doing is actually just going, not even activate the one and yeah. just draw an additional at the end of the turn. I mean, the character I wish I hadn't bothered to take, Sigurd, because I didn't even use him. Yeah. Well, although on the other side, you know, if there were some sort of victory points in this game, murdered once, murdered, murdered twice, twice I know. and I was going to respawn them as well. But yeah. because they were being murdered out of the way by various things. Yeah, you see, you put them in a position where they, they were holding the, the Divine Stones and I had to kill them to yeah. get them off them. Yeah. So I had no choice. And then whenever the Shield Maidens came up, they were just such a threat. It was just like, nope, those have to die. The Ulfhandar are mm. interesting, mm. but I'm not sure about them. Mm. I, they only get a bonus if the unit is complete. Yes. Um, which is why I put Angram in. Mm -hmm. But I don't think I ever got in a position where I could really use them because they, they can go berserk and get double attacks. Yep. And if the unit's complete and they've got double attacks, they've got loads of dice and good yep. defense, but then you lose somebody and that's gone again. Yeah, honestly, do you want to know the, Very... the, the, the Jarl I would normally think to put with them mm -hmm. is this guy, Modgood, because mm -hmm. he just gives them the block talent. Mm -hmm. So they can just rock up and just be like, yeah, fine, you're going to kill us, but you've got to deal with us regardless. That's clever. That yeah, is clever. But overall, yeah. it's it's the exact same feel and flavor I had in Pantheon. Mm -hmm. It's that same tactical depth that I had in Pantheon, and I still just absolutely adore it. Yeah. What do you think? You like it? I do. It's it's a really interesting game, simply because there are no turns. Yeah. Um, I suppose is the, the best way to put it. It just keeps flowing. Mm -hmm. And there are mitigations you can do during your opponent's turn. Because yeah. there were a couple of times during your turn where it was just like I think Jerry's going to attack me. I'm going to burn the Art of War, draw two, and hopefully get the card I need. Get the card to, to like, retaliate. retaliate. Yeah. Yeah. So you do end up having a lot of choices, and choices in a game is always good. Mm -hmm. um, but there's no simply... speed bumps to it. There's nothing no. that slows down that pace of play. And the big thing is because it's running on Kickstarter and because they're busting through so many stretch goals, this is the tip of the iceberg. Mm. There are multiple new gods, multiple new units, multiple new heroes, multiple new monsters. And they've done one thing that I really like. Mm -hmm. So you see the way we did the start where everything was laid out? Yeah. They've actually done a set of recruitment cards as one of the stretch goals. So instead of having to lay everything out, you can just have a deck of cards. Just, that just a standard card yeah, size, yeah. Standard card size that you can be working through to do your recruitment. Yeah. And then you can go picking through the boxes to get the bits you need. Yeah. Which is far easier on setup. That's interesting. Especially interesting if if you're playing and your your opponent doesn't know. Because here you could go, well, I've just taken Fafnir. So you have just taken Fafnir and Freya. Yeah. Whereas if I'm just sitting with cards and you're going, okay, what has he has he taken? Uh, it's a little more of a blind draft, which could be interesting. Yeah, especially if if, if you're playing with several of the um, the uh, additional expansions yeah. or whatever. So you're not just using like four gods. Exactly. If there's a plethora in there, you may not notice if somebody has snuck uh, Heimdall out or. Yeah. yeah. Now, one of the the big things for the the recruitment cards because they're on a smaller card, mm. they don't have like all of this. Yeah, yeah. You still end up having to go and. Get textual You'll have to go and, stuff and after. Like, check yeah. it. So if it's if it's something you're tempted by, you can like go and look it up beforehand and sort of already have an idea of who and what you're wanting to build. Mm. So again, I wonder because it uses the same mechanics. Is it possible to play these against the Greeks? It is. Oh. It is. It is totally possible to play them against the Greeks. That was fascinating. And the Egyptians when they come along. Ooh. So I'm you know. Yep, Ra versus Odin or Thor. Because mm. Odin is coming in one of the expansions, and I can't wait to see what his uh, abilities are. Yeah. Right, anyway, the only thing left to do hmm. is pass it out to everyone out there. Tell us, what do you think of Mythic Battles Ragnarok? Are you excited? Are you jumping in? Is there a particular, you know, character, monster, god from the, the Norse mythology or the Danish or sort of that area of the world's mythology to join the game? We'll move on, and uh, yeah, we'll see you again soon. We hope you enjoyed this Let's Play. Go ahead and check out our other content on screen now. And while you're at it, why not hit subscribe and remember to ding our dong. Go on, you know you want to click it. Go on.